So I wanna go into a little bit more detail about how I chose this recipe and why it's really important. And this part's a little bit more advanced. With the five pour method, we really do need a coarse grind size. If we have a grind size too fine, we end up extracting a little bit too much from the cup. I like that it has a coarse grind setting because there you can start to play around with different grinders, giving a different taste profile with boulders versus fines. It's really interesting when you start to compare grinder to grinder with the same method and recipe. The agitation and the extraction actually comes from each pulse. As you do each pour, as the water drains through, you end up actually extracting more because you're putting fresher water in at each time and also at each time agitating, which is why we do quite an aggressive pour. When the water is penetrating the bed and kicking everything up around, that acts as your agitation instead of stirring. And what you can get is something where each pour becomes a new extraction. And that's how I like to think of it. The first pour is responsible for you know, your sweetness or acidity. And then as you go through, if you have a larger pour at the end, you end up having a little bit more bitterness or tea-like qualities, maybe some more florals. This is something that you can play with from coffee to coffee and start to understand how each pour actually affects the total taste of the beverage. When we do this aggressive pour of a center pour, we are kicking everything up and going around the sides, capturing the rest of the coffee to make sure we really do have an even extraction. This is quite important to make sure that we're penetrating the bed, flooding the bed first, and then going around the sides to capture all the coffee. If we wait too long for each pour to drip through, what you'll find is you have the potential to get a little bit more dryness in the cup. So for that reason, I do recommend, as soon as it's just gone from a stream to just slow drips, that we do our next pour. If we do let it drip through a little bit longer, you might find that you can get a more strong brew with more intensity, but any of these dry notes could come back into the cup. I've experimented a lot with different pouring sizes, structures, four pours, six pours, but I kept on coming back to this five pour method and the size of each pour being equal. The only other thing that I can recommend that you try and test out is with that blooming phase. If you do a smaller bloom with a fresher coffee, maybe you can try doing a 50 gram bloom, for example, and leaving it a little bit longer, maybe up to 40 seconds instead of 30, 35, you'll find that you can get a new side to the coffee and open up some different intensities that weren't there before. But I really encourage you, just try it out. Have fun playing, and especially give the Hario Metal V60 a go. By far, this was the best brewer for clarity and brightness out of all the other drippers that I tried. So I encourage you, have a go, play around with the five-pour method, and please let me know what your results are. I look forward to hearing from you.